all and welcome to my bedroom. Just me, little old me and my towel. Yes, I've been in the shower, washed off all the scumminess of yesterday. Scumminess? Yes, that is a word. My word, I'm using it. So I've been in the shower, got to dry the bright orange hair. No, I'm joking. It's still blonde, but I've got to dry it. So I'm, I'm going to get my hair dryer and all the bits that I need to do my hair. If I can. Come down here because little Miss Monkey's been making a mess. Yes, she has. Oh, of course she has. I'm going to straighten it this time because last time it went a bit wild. Can you see my head? Hello. Mm -hmm. God, it's so much work doing nice hair. Silly. It's a silly belly. And we know this work to do. I've got that oil. But my oil is in my makeup box. Yes, it is. Ask you why? I have no idea why. It's just ended up in there. Look at all these. Look at my head. My head dry, yes. First though, I, I, I need to put some clothes on. I've only got my towel on. Yes, let's just try this out, make sure it still works. Still works. Even though it's got a lovely ring to it. Right, I, I'm going to come closer. Can't see me drop my towel then. Put on my dress. Wow, my skin's gone really red and blotchy. Can you tell? It's the lovely warm heat to get rid of all the scumminess that was yesterday. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Doesn't look much different to you guys, really. Oh, I've got a headache. So this is going to be fun. Look, it's still the same colour. All oh, that panic and thinking I'd gone bright orange. <laughs> One of these days. One of these days. I'm going to scare Mr. Producer. And go bright orange. I am. One of these days. I am thinking of a colour change just to prepare you. You'll never know until I do it. Never, never, never. I think I need some more oil. I'm running out. You're only meant to use a little bit each time. But I'm still running out of the stuff. I keep getting told, don't put too much on. I don't put too much on. Right, heat protect. So the first one was total results matrix. So long, damaged, break free hair. Ooh, I get a text message. Did you hear that? My minions, right, hairdryer time with my fabulous hairdryer. My hair takes so long. It's unbelievable. Because it's kind of like giving me false hope here. It's not going to be dry. 
my hair doesn't dry that quick but last time I washed it I left it when it was dry and didn't bother straighten it and it went a bit crazy on me it's not as if I straighten it like they do at the hairdressers but it went a bit kink vest kinky it went kinky all over the place right, it's just a little bit of drying now that's it my head even more how thick it's going <laughs> my hair likes to bulk up <laughs> straightener in now plug it in plug it in and i'm using i am using the new babyliss one that i've got i know i always use this one but i've never told you what make it is babyliss babyliss actually it matches my hair dryer i didn't even realize that right put it on full pelt see the hair dryers always have more hair dryers the hairdressers, that's better, always have more patience with my hair than what I do. I never have patience with my hair. It's like, come on, you should be dry by now. But there's so much of it. There's a new um, stylist, what's that? colorist at my hairdressers. And whenever she gets her hands on my hair, she's like, you have so much hair now. With an American accent, might I add. She lived in America, in Texas, I know, for about 30-something years. But yeah, she always says... Wow, you have so much hair, Adele. It's like, take it. Take it. I can't stand it being this thick. Well, I suppose it shows health, doesn't it, being this thick. It just takes so much hard work. And I always feel like I look like a cocker spaniel when it's so thick. Because it's just, it looks like I've got big shaggy ears. I know I haven't. I need a clip or something. I'm not putting that on my bed. I'm gonna have a look. See if I've got any clips. I did buy some. Ah, look, there they are. See, somebody from up above is looking after me today. Cause yeah. I'm gonna see if I can do it properly. You know, like the hairdressers do. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Look at her hair. There's so much of it, it's unbelievable. And it fell down. It fell down. Maybe I'll put too much up. Did I put too much up, do you think? Can you understand what I'm saying? Do I need two clips in one lot? Right, let's concentrate on that one side. Right, I went for my straighteners on my bed. Not as if I'd do it on my bed. Straightening, that is. Yes, the scumminess of yesterday is all washed off. New day, new films, lots to show you, lots to do. Not holding me down. Don't stop me now, I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. Don't know the rest of it. Go on, Top Curve, I don't know the rest of that song. Just give me a call. Don't stop me now. Don't stop me. I'm having a good time. Don't want to stop at all. Do you know what? That doesn't look too bad. Obviously, hairdressers do better. But then they get paid for it and they've got years and years of training. Me, I do it really habdashedly and just get on with it. That's it. Do, do, do. So I don't want all that locked down though. <laughs> there we go. Do I look at do I look a pillock yet?
So I had to stop and start you, it got to 10 minutes. So soft. Look how soft it is. Is that pen's hand stuff I've been using? Can you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I hear my eye. Right. Let the rest down now. that's helped with the thickness layering it up for me to straighten it she says possibly give that a brush see how it looks not as if I'm going anywhere I'm just getting ready to do some lovely filming for you lovely people And I want it to look nice. Plus, when you look in the mirror and your hair looks nice, you feel better. I'm going on Tuesday to have my roots done. I am. Right. I'm kind of like pulling hair from this side. Can you see the difference though in the two sides? I think you can. I might get them to curl me on Tuesday. But then when, I, when they curl it, it falls out pretty quickly. So I don't know. Just for a change though. So I haven't had curly hair for ages. And I get really bored with my hair. I do. <laughs> it's a funny story that. Um, I ended up purple when I got bored with my hair. But it wasn't just purple. It was short, spiky purple. This was a long time ago. This was college days, yes. With me being 35 now, I was, how old was I? I was 16 when I went to college. And <laughs> I think in the first three months of starting college, I'd got my nose pierced, yes. I, I had got glasses and I had got short, purple, spiky hair. <laughs> And I wore a parka. I, I rebelled. Not against my parents, but against conforming. <laughs> yes. When I was at school, because I went to school in quite a little town. I haven't always lived in Nottingham. When I went to school, it was like, if you didn't fit in, God help you. If you didn't wear the right stuff or be the right size. Yeah, that, that never worked out. It's kind of like, yeah. It didn't work. So whenever you wanted to rebel, you w it was worse. Bear in mind, I wasn't the right size at school. I didn't didn't fit in. I used to wear Doc Martens as my school shoes <laughs> when I was at school. Yes, but I couldn't go to the extreme that I wanted. I had long brown hair at school, and then I had long red hair at school. It's like I rebelled with my hair at school because they couldn't tell you how to do your hair at school you could go with it polka dot and they couldn't say anything because it was your hair simple as that so yeah we uh, me and my mummy <laughs> used to um dyed all sorts of colors i even went to school with black lipstick on once yeah and you wonder why um they kind of like picked on me <laughs> they didn't like the fact that i didn't well i did give a shit school was a hard time but they didn't like the fact that they weren't getting to me. So then when I went to college, I kind of like amped it up a bit. Because <laughs> I didn't go with co to college with any of my friends from school. I went to a completely different college. Completely. On purpose, in one sense. Because I wanted to change who I was. But not on purpose in another way. The fact that they didn't want to do what I was doing at college is completely different, isn't it? So yeah, I um, put the parka jacket on, cut off all the hair, pierced the nose, didn't get any tattoos. The tattoos came a lot, well, the one tattoo that I have came a lot longer 
from college. But yeah. It, let's just say growing up is an interesting time. Oh yes. But that, my darlings, is for a whole nother story. Hair's all done. Hair's all done. Makeup next. Oh yes. Makeup. I just fancy looking good for you all. I do. And feeling good. And I've got some new makeup, so I won't show you all. So yes, that's the lovely hair done. Like my video for me, my lovelies. Subscribe to all five of my channels. We have Adele Sexy UK, Adele Sexy USA, Best of Adele Sexy UK, Adele UK Gamer, and Adele Sexy UK Yoga. Go and find me, subscribe to them all, like them all, add me to loads of playlists, share me about, I don't mind. But don't upload any of my videos to your accounts. I look, I watch, I make sure none of my videos are copied. So this is your pre-warning. Pre-flight warning. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, my lovelies, at AdidasXUK, and I'll talk to you all soon. See you in a minute when I'm doing the lovely makeup. Goodbye. Mwah.